always a pleasure to have you. And I want to ask you, you know, what you think about Donald Trump's latest comment about a Muslim database. And of course, you heard his interview on this program earlier moments ago. Your thoughts? Well, it's good to be with you, Kimberly. And I have to tell you, I'm not going to fall into the uh, normal situation of someone yelling squirrel and go chasing and, and looking after it. I really don't care what Donald Trump said, and I don't want to be part of a media cycle that will, you know, turn this into some great big ca catastrophic statement. What I'm more so concerned about is that we have the dueling banjos of Islamic terrorism going on. Last week, Friday, we had ISIS with the horrific attack that they conducted in Paris, and now a week later, we have Al-Qaeda with this horrific attack that they have done in Mali. I think that the most important thing we need, Kimberly, right now are adults who will sit down and read the 1991 Muslim Brotherhood Strategic Objective, the explanatory memorandum that was written by Mohammed Akram. It was discovered in a 2004 FBI raid in Northern Virginia, and it outlines every single thing that the Muslim Brotherhood wants to do here in the United States of America. We should declare them a terrorist organization, and every single organization that was named in that document should be, you know, expelled from the United States of America. They be, should be shut down. And so I am looking for someone that has a strategic perspective and understanding the right type of policies that precludes the Islamic Jihad from uh, operating as a covert uh, or stealth manner and then also the overt manner that we see happening right now. Okay, so and are you hearing that from anybody, from any of 